I am going to introduce to you a fundamental relationship between light and the human body, specifically how the body sees and responds to unique light, which subsequently affects multiple psychological and physiological responses to the body. I can't give an entire uh, seminar in this brief period, so we can talk after class. All right, this may look like a fish to some of you, but it's actually a cross-section of the human eye. We're going to blow up that one little section. This is a detail of the retina and the photoreceptors in the retina. We have at the top the hormonal uh, system and at the bottom, in blue, the visual system. And I'm going to talk about the visual system first. Um, first of all, the eye takes a series of snapshots. This is a mechanical process and then sends those images through the optic nerve to the brain. The brain streams those together as a continuous movie and then sub subsequently, and this is the important part, searches its memory banks for like associations. It's looking for familiarity to identify specific relationships. Uh, this, this is what we would call perceptual awareness. And this happens through, this, through the two-part process of mechanical processing of the image capture in the eye and psychological association. So for example, you probably all have walked down a street, you see somebody in the distance, you think that might be your sister, a friend, you get a little closer, and all of a sudden you recognize that it's not, but there might be some recognized associations between those individuals. Um, so this is a uh, psychological response to the memory, again, that we have in our minds, in our psyche. So I'm going to come back to the psychological process in a moment, but I'm going to talk about the hormonal system. So simultaneously to the visual system is the hormonal system. This is a separate uh, but parallel neur neurological channel where the ganglion cells capture light, specifically boost blue spectrum light, and send that information to the suprachiasmatic nuclei, or SCN, which is much easier to say, and which regulates the body, the biological clocks in our system. So this, this uh, and the circadian cycle, so most noteworthy is the uh, wake-sleep cycle. And you probably all have experienced uh, assuming that you uh, go to bed and then wake up on regular cycles, uh, that uh, you may wake up before your alarm clock goes off in the morning. So this is your SCN, keeping your bodily rhythms in regular check. Okay, so this is revisiting uh, the psychological, and I'm gonna wrap up here shortly. This is a black square with a series of circles. And then if we refer to this image, you'll see some of these circles, the, the columns, look as if they are convex, and some look as if they're concave. What you're effectively seeing is the position of highlight on the circles that are causing this perceived formal uh, assumption based upon the fact that light our minds assume that light comes from above and comes down. So therefore, there's a perceived assumption of, or perceived form of concave and convex. Now we actually know that this is a projected image, it's flat, it's not three-dimensional, but your mind sees it three-dimensionally. And then to prove this fact of, of known familiarities in our psyche, the Ames room deliberately manipulates known relationships. So here we have a situation where two children are actually the same height, but based upon their proximity to the viewer, the rise of the floor, which you can see in the diagram on the left, the red wedge, the floor has been lifted, the ceiling height is shorter, the wall is skewed, so therefore there's an exaggeration of height and also manipulation of other perceptual components within the image. So in conclusion, what I would just emphasize to you is that light is not simply an aesthetic item. It's something that has significant uh, biological and psychological consequences of how we perceive and understand the world that we occupy. One little quick trick I'm going to show you that a colleague of mine showed me. This is my iPad. You see the camera. If I hold the pad against my jacket, it's black, right? Not because the black, it's the jacket is black, but there's no light. If I hold my finger up to the camera, you see light. So not only does light affect us psychologically and physiologically, we could say that light is truly, literally and metaphorically within us. Thank you. Thank you.